how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Many people have heard this saying, as above, so below. Israelites, you must understand you live in a world that is full of illusion. Satan imitates everything the Most High does to bring forth confusion and lawlessness. Satan's imitations are meant to deceive the sheep into serving the kingdom of darkness unaware. We live in a duality world. For example, the Most High has a chosen people called Israelites. Satan has a chosen group of people called Jews. The Most High sent a Messiah that is called after his name. Satan has a Messiah that came in his own name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The Most High sent the Messiah to teach his people his statutes, commandments, and laws. Satan's Messiah came to save the world. The scripture said, if you love the world, you are an enemy to the Most High. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Satan said through his Messiah that God loves the world. That is why he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believe would not perish but obtain everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. As you can see, we live in a duality world. The Most High has standards for his creation to follow. Satan manipulates the standards of the Most High to accomplish his goals. If you do not analyze every aspect of what is presented to you, you would believe the Most High loved the world and sent his son to save the world. The scriptures reveal the Most High will destroy the world due to his creation's wickedness. Destroying the earth to purge the wicked would not be the first time the Most High judged the earth. Remember the times of Noah? And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, but the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Many people give up on the scriptures because of the many contradictions the kingdom of darkness inserted into the scriptures. Satan altered the scriptures to bring confusion and to better accomplish his will in the physical realm. Satan know the indigenous black people and the most high are connected. We are spiritual beings. In order to manipulate spiritual people that are organically connected to the supreme ruler of all, Satan must use something closely related to spirituality. Satan created religion to deceive the indigenous people. Religion and spirituality are two different things. Satan is the father to all religion. Satan controlled the world via religion. Most people assume politicians, governments, laws, the rich, and the Jews control the world. The Roman Catholic Church ruled this world with Satan. Satan's seat is at the Vatican City, the birthplace to the mother harlot that controls every nation. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days when Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. You would never fail to see an altar built in every nation that is not connected to the Roman Catholic Church. Satan is a spirit. Remember, he's an angel. Satan's army are fallen angels, unclean foul spirits, and human agents. 
Demons are disembodied spirits. The workers of iniquity are people who choose to serve Satan. Humans interact with spirits via an altar. At an altar is where you present your sacrifices and communicate with spirits. In the scriptures, when King Saul wanted to connect with Samuel, King Saul seek a woman with a familiar spirit to interact with the spirit of Samuel. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her, and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. Keep in mind, Israelites, Samuel passed away when Saul was seeking to speak with Samuel. It will never end well for you if you seek the Most High through the kingdom of darkness. You would never connect to the Most High taking that path. You would encounter spirits that would gladly deceive you. Israelites, do not seek the dead for help. The dead has nothing in common with the living. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. The dead has no knowledge of what is taking place in the physical realm. The Mosai said he is not the Elohim of the dead. The spirits you see masquerading as your dead relatives and people you love are familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are sent by the kingdom of darkness to win your trust and to deceive you. Do not believe the dead relatives that speaks to you in the spirit realm. The Most High has harsh judgment reserved for his people that seek the workers of iniquity that use familiar spirits. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. A man also, or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. For the woman to conjure the familiar spirit pretending to be Samuel, she must build an altar to the idols she serves. The woman at Endor would be a high priestess, a wizard, or a modern name, a witch. She had the ability to meet with unclean spirits via the altar she built to the idols she serves. Religion deals with altars and the worshipping of a higher power or idols. Religion is home to many workers of iniquity calling themselves priests. These workers of iniquity boldly display their altars in their churches, homes, and other locations. Churches that are rooted in religion has altars built to the kingdom of darkness. Remember, Satan is the father of all religion. The workers of iniquity built their altars to the idols they serve. If the pastor in your local church, assembly, camp, and other religious institutions serve the golden calf, everyone in his or her congregation serve the golden calf. Israelites, it is important to examine the people you listen to. Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You must test their spirits. For example, I serve the Elohim of Israel, the creator of all, the one whose image I am made in. I would not display any graven images or show pictures of what the Messiah appearance is, because the one I serve forbids such act. Those who listen and follow this channel share the same belief. Therefore, they are serving the Most High as well. Do you see how this works? If you're listening to a person and taking heed to their teachings, whatever they follow, you follow. This is why you must examine everyone. In addition, study for yourself to be sure you are serving the Most High and not idols. Religion does not endorse the people reading the Bible for themselves nor seeking the Most High for themselves. The demonic doctrines of religion discourage the sheep from reading the Old Testament and asking questions. The doctrines of devils that enforce the Old Covenant is fulfilled, and another popular doctrine, the laws of the Most High are done away with, are meant to mislead the people. First, splitting the Bible into the Old and New Testaments is deceiving. By doing this, it will further enforce the Old Covenant is fulfilled due to the fact the Old Covenant was established in the Old Testaments. 
If the sheep asked simple questions, the demonic doctrines would be obsolete. Because religion programmed the sheep to follow their pastors and not the Most High, so many are disconnected from the Most High. Therefore, they cannot discern the truth from the lies. The workers of iniquity serve idols. They cannot hear the truth of the Most High's words. It is offensive to them. For that reason, they label the truth as hate speech. The sheep that follow them are deaf as well. He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. If the leaders in the beast system and CEOs of major corporations serve the Most High, they would not persecute me for revealing the truth, nor would they censor others who are waking up the sheep. If they serve the Most High like they profess, they would promote truth and applaud the new voices challenging the beast system. Because the truth is not in them, they oppress the truth. The workers of iniquity represent another kingdom. They belong to their father Satan's kingdom. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. To the Israelites that are trapped in religion, ask your pastors and other spiritual leaders that like to say the old covenant is fulfilled, which covenant are fulfilled because the Most High established many covenants in the Torah? In addition, how can an everlasting covenant that does not expire be fulfilled? Ask your leaders how the laws of the Most High could be done away with and not the laws of men. Questions such as these would destroy the doctrines of devils. If the sheep are unaware that their prominent pastor built an altar to an idol, they are unknowingly worshiping and serving the idols of their beloved pastor. This is how many sheep are led astray. Many sheep trapped in religion will fight for their pastor regardless of his or her iniquity. They accept anything their religious leaders, the men of God, say to them without confirming with the Most High. Therefore, many sheep perish in the church. The church is home to many high-level workers of iniquity. The idols, the religious leaders disguised as the Most High, are demons in disguise. The scriptures reveal, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. For well, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. For multiple generations, black people have been serving white Jesus and their conditions never improve. If white Jesus is the most high in the flesh, how come he has forsaken black people? The scriptures say Yah would never leave us nor forsake us. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Did not the Messiah, God in the flesh, came to save the world? Do not black people live in this world? Black people are loyal to the white savior, Jesus Christ. If he is all that the world present him to be, how come he is not helping the indigenous people all over the world? Is it because he is a God to the people that look like him and not the original people who's made in the image of the Most High, the creator of all? God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them the truth of the most high's words 
reveal the God in the flesh that came to save the world is an idol. The religious leaders who disguise this idol in the church have blood on their hands. The Most High has severe judgments reserved for so-called leaders who are leading the sheep astray. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. The Most High had no mercy towards King David's bastard child when he killed Uriah and took his wife Bathsheba. David was a man after the Most High's heart. However, the Most High had no problem carrying out his judgments towards King David. The guilty does not go unpunished. Yah will carry out his judgment towards the workers of iniquity who caused the people of the Most High to stumble. Today, many sheep are deceived into believing white Jesus, an idol, will save them from the wrath of the Most High simply because they believe he exists. If you do not possess a repented heart and turn from the iniquities that is separating you from the Most High, the wrath of Yah is upon you regardless if you accept the Messiah. Many people are confused when the unfortunate happens to them when they are loyal and serving the Messiah. That is the problem. You are serving the Messiah and not the Father. In addition, the Messiah presented to the people and highly praised and accepted by the world is not of the Most High. That is why the world welcomes and accepts this idol. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Satan deceived many to accept the idol called Jesus Christ as Messiah and God in the flesh. Due to this belief, many are led astray. Yeshua, that came in the Father's name, said to worship and serve the Father. In addition, Yeshua said he did not come to be honored by men, nor to honor himself. Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my Father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Religion is the institution that is keeping Israelites defeated and enslaved. In addition, Satan used religion to reestablish many covenants to give the kingdom of darkness permission to do their will. Therefore, religion is important to the kingdom of darkness. The sheep will invest in what they believe. If the Most High was the one being honored in religion, the kingdom of darkness could not shut down churches all over the world due to a pandemic. The beast system allows the liquor stores and other establishments operating. However, the people could not assemble to exercise their religious rights. Israelites, there are evil altars and altars built to the Most High. Yah said, if you build an altar to me, I will visit the altar and bring blessings. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep, and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. Israelites, your altar is your prayer life, and fasting is the sacrifice. Satan used the system of the Most High, closely manipulate the standards of the Most High to confuse the people into following him, creating duality. The examples of religion, two different groups of chosen people, and the altars are duality. Satan must imitate everything of Yah to deceive the masses. That is how Satan managed to deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. I hope I was able to give you a glimpse into the world of duality. If you want to know how Satan operate, you need to understand duality. Once you understand duality, you can no longer be manipulated by the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, know that for everything the Most High requires of you, Satan has the opposite requirements. Imitating the Most High is how Satan operates. The Most High speaks to you in your dreams, the spirit realm. The kingdom of darkness speaks to you in the spirit realm as well.
The Most High show you what is happening to your life in the spirit realm. The kingdom of darkness make your spirit do things that breaks the laws of the Most High. For example, seeing yourself participating in lewd acts. The kingdom of darkness tries to get you to consent in every dream. Consenting result in covenants. Israelites, it is important for you to break the evil covenants the kingdom of darkness establish while you sleep. The scriptures reveal to us in the parable of the wheats and the tares that while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares and went his way. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. While many people are sleeping, the kingdom of darkness established many covenants and went their way. Those who have no knowledge of the spirit realm do not have any idea of the covenants they established with the kingdom of darkness while they slept. Their life is falling apart and they have no answer unto why. If you ever wonder to why you are serving the Most High to the best of your ability and you cannot progress in life, the tares the kingdom of darkness planted into the garden of your life while you slept is the problem. Many Israelites and strangers are not breaking the evil covenants. Therefore, the covenants are playing out in their life. Israelites, you must cancel the covenants. Not knowing does not exclude you from the consequences. Just as not knowing whom the workers of iniquity and religion serve makes you a partaker. Take the time to cancel every known and unknown evil covenant established in your life. We cannot discuss how Satan operate without discussing the flesh. The Most High operate in the spirit. The kingdom of darkness operate in the flesh. The lust of the flesh, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, and everything in the world stems from the kingdom of darkness and not the Father. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. The flesh is at war with the spirit. You cannot please the most high operating in the flesh. The flesh is purely physical. Anyone operating in the flesh cannot look beyond what they can see. When something miraculous happens, a person operating in the flesh would seek a worldly solution for the miracle. Satan will use the lust of the flesh to lure you into his army. Satan will gladly give you all the desires of your flesh if you bow down to serve him. Israelites, Beware of Satan's temptations. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. The kingdom of darkness' end goal with every temptation is to establish a covenant. A covenant gives the kingdom of darkness permission to do their will in your life. Therefore, everything Satan gives to you requires something in return. If it ever sounds too good to be true, Israelites, it is too good to be true. Be patient and wait on the Most High to provide for all your needs. The scripture said to first seek the kingdom and his righteousness, all these things would be added on to you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Operating in the flesh is based on what you can see. The scripture said not to focus on what is seen, but the unseen, because what is seen is temporary. The unseen is eternal. Nobody have seen the Father, yet many believe he exists. A person operating in the flesh needs evidence. The scriptures gave us an example of Thomas not believing the disciples when they said they have seen Yahshua. Thomas said he needed evidence. The other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. The church refers to him as doubting Thomas. Israelites, I want to bring something to your attention. According to religious doctrines, the Messiah that came in his own name is God in the flesh. They love to use this scripture to support their claims. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, 
the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Israelites, the Most High is spirit. You must pay attention to the words the workers of iniquity use to manipulate the scriptures. The Most High is not an Elohim of the flesh. Remember, you cannot please the Most High in the flesh. I know they want to interpret the scripture onto saying the Messiah is God in human form, but the scriptures do not support this interpretation. No one has ever seen the Most High and live. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. The God in the flesh the world accepted and worship is not the Elohim of Israel, but the one who operate in the flesh. Satan is the God of flesh. He is known as the prince of the air or God of this world. Satan operates in the flesh. It is of no coincidence that the Messiah that came in his own name is known as God in the flesh. Israelites go deeper with the most high. Today you will know the truth and the truth would make you free. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The people of the Most High know the voice of Yah, and a stranger's voice they would not follow. Satan speaks to you as well. Negative thoughts stems from unclean foul spirits. The voices that are influencing you to break the laws of the Most High stems from the kingdom of darkness. For example, a married man or woman contemplate on cheating. The voice that is encouraging him or her to cheat is of the kingdom of darkness. Satan's voice encourages you to go against the will of the Most High. The scriptures instruct us to cast down every evil imagination that rise against the knowledge of Yah. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Voices that encourage you not to take responsibility for your actions is the voice of Satan. Voices that influence you to complain about everything in life is the voice of Satan. Voices that influence you to give up in life is the voice of Satan. Voices that are negative and manipulative stems from the kingdom of darkness. For example, when Satan deceived Eve in the garden, Satan manipulate Eve into eating from the forbidden tree. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Satan encouraged Eve to go against the will of the Most High to gratify the flesh. Israelites, everything the kingdom of darkness does targets the flesh. Satan does not want you operating in the spirit. If you operate in the spirit, Satan can no longer control you. He is stepping out of his element. Yah operate in the spirit. That is why the true worshipers of the Most High must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, the time has come for you to go deeper with the Most High. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he could devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Israelites, when the kingdom of darkness come against you, make sure you are well equipped to send the devils back to where they came from. The people of the Most High must rise. In order for you to rise, you must properly identify your enemy and understand how your enemy operate. Satan is your enemy, and he uses whoever will submit to him to attack you. Israelites, do not give your enemy, the devil, an opportunity to place a stronghold on your life. Yah came to give you life, life more abundantly. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they trust in him.